Hey everybody and welcome to CGN's Marvel Monday. For the next couple weeks and maybe even the next couple months, Josh and I are going to be focusing some of our content every Monday on Marvel Crisis Protocol. We're going to be bringing you battle reports, painting tutorials, unboxings, tactical tips, and our opinion of the game. This week we have one of Josh's quick and dirty painting tutorials. We're going to be painting Gwen Stacy and teaching you how to do it in less than an hour. Hey everybody, it's Josh with Cool Guys Nation. We are here with a tutorial uh, for quick and easy Ghost Spider or Gwen Stacy for Marvel Crisis Protocol. Hope you enjoy. Please hit that bell button, subscribe, like, whatever you want to do if you like this video. And uh, one moment, we'll get that tutorial for you. Welcome to painting Ghost Spider. Oh, I'm really worried about painting this model. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. She is gonna be contrast black on this uh, corset area up here and then her legs. We're gonna start with that first because if we're gonna fail, we're gonna fail big. Now, part of this area is supposed to be white. So I'm going to generally try to avoid hitting that area if I can. Same on both sides, just try to go right next to that little white area. And paint all the rest in with that contrast. Now, the tips of her feet uh, can be painted that little faded blue. I'm gonna just go ahead and, uh, because I want to not have to worry about it right now, I'm gonna go ahead and paint that white afterwards and then wash or uh, contrast paint that afterwards. I just feel like that'll be much easier than worrying about any kind of spillage or drippage. I can really make sure that I get the, the coverage that I want. Just making sure I get all of the stuff black that I want to get black here at the bottom. Making sure it doesn't pull too, too much. But I am going to really want this dark because she is definitely has this painted black. Or at least it's black in the, the book, so. And in the movie and such. And I don't really know how this looks in the back because I haven't seen it. So I'm just going to assume that it goes up to here in the back. I'm going to switch to a little smaller brush here and I'm going to try to get that corset. And if I go over, it's not a huge deal. What I'll do is I'll just go over it with white and fix it. So I'm gonna do in the outline first, then I'm gonna go in and bring the darker color in. And like I said, I don't know what she looks like in the back. I'm just following the guidelines that kind of like I've got here for the front part and making sure they look pretty good. Looks pretty good. Just notice I got a little white spot where it's drying here. Sometimes you will have the contrast pull away in random spots. So just be aware of it. I got a little one right, right there too. Don't really know why that happens. Just be aware. So you can clean it up if it happens, see? Pulling away a little bit right there. We're back with Ghost Spider. Uh, the next step, I'm gonna be shading all the white. Uh, it'll look too stark if we just have her in like a bright white. So we are actually going to use the uh, contrast uh, apothecary white and we're gonna go over her, all the white here, basically all the, the rest of the model that isn't painted black. That will give us a good starting point for some of the grays. Shade, it won't look as stark, it will look more painted. A lot of times uh, when you paint directly over the base layer, and, and leave that base layer white, it doesn't look painted. This uh, apothecary gray is gonna take care of that problem. I'm not gonna do a heavy, heavy wash on this. I'm actually uh, gonna go off and, and pull off any of the areas I don't want as dark, and I'm gonna make sure that we're not getting any nasty pooling anywhere. But like I said, this will actually make the model look a lot uh, more painted. It looks kind of dark right now, it dries, a lot lighter like I said 
I'm going to be pulling some off the, the highest points, and we are going for there. If you are still having trouble with getting this pulled off, you can actually like use your finger uh, on the light, the highest areas if you want those to be highlighted. Like, you can see, I want this hood to be a little bit brighter, so I can actually pull it off with my finger, and that will give the effect of the, those are the, the least colorized layers and it gives a good effect. I'm going to be doing an artificial version here on our chest. Uh, there is a slight shade over the whole model now so that's good. I'm going to pull a little back off their shoulder blades. There you go. Okay, Ghost Spider. We're going to be using some Basilicum Gray and we're just going to be using that for this one little area here uh, underneath her arms. Just a little, a little bit more gray, gray. And we want to get in there. In that underarm area that she has painted gray. And that's the next step done. Magos purple. So she's got purple inside of her hood and purple around her eyes. So we're just going to be getting this inside of this hood area. And I am assuming I'm going to have to do some touch ups with some white here in a minute. So I just want to get the, the look inside of the, inside the cape there, just to give the hint that we've got some pink in there. Uh, Magos uh, purple is not the darkest of contrast. So you can actually build up uh, color if you want. Now I'm going to go in through the eyes and instead of worrying about whatever, I'm going to just paint the whole eye with this purple. And as you can see, it pulled away and left those white eyes exactly where we want them. Pretty sweet, huh? Additionally, I'm going to go in with my white again and we're going to hit those feet that we talked about earlier, that we want to get uh, to that teal color. I do have a good contrast color for that too. So um, this paint's kind of thick coming straight out. So we'll get a little water and I'll mix a little bit. We'll just hit those toes. Like, almost like ballet shoes. Uh, and then we didn't have to worry about that when we were painting the black on. So that would have been annoying to do. I always just try to do the base color and then if I need to do detail, I will uh, try to do it by painting white on. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I couldn't find the color that color that I wanted, so I'm going to use this uh, this blue, uh, Lothar blue. It looks like for the shoes. It's about the color that I need. Uh, looks like it's pretty good right out of the pot. Might add a little bit of water, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the shoes. Yeah, that's like basically the exact color that we wanted. Just happen to have this sitting around. Now what I'll do with this is I'll probably wash it with a contrast that's close to this color. Uh, just to give it some depth because, um, like I said, these are just some quick and dirty schemes. Not going to be doing any crazy highlighting or anything like that just to get them on the board looking pretty good without much effort. We're gonna be working on our shoes. We're gonna be using this Aethermatic Blue and we're just gonna hit those shoes and uh, basically shade them with this contrast color. Uh, and that way it's the perfect way to make these look more than one dimensional Go ahead and put quite a bit on, it's not a big deal. Uh, this color is very weak, so you need a lot of it to do anything particular. So 
don't be afraid to put a lot on that one. I'm not going to be worried about putting those pink spots. That's just too much difficulty. You can still see the base character here without any issue. Uh, detail on the eyes. Uh, it looks pretty good. We've got the different gray and black areas and the, the uh, teal feet. Uh, she's basically going to be done. Uh, we're going to be working on the basing. If you want to check out uh, the basing tutorial that I have that is in uh, my Kingpin uh, video, you can check it out there. Uh, and we will uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. As always, hit the subscribe, hit subscribe, hit the bell button, share with your friends. These are uh, the easy, quick, dirty Marvel Crisis Protocol paint schemes.